Today we are making Chinese pepper steak. This is sirloin steak, and you see the white part here. You wanna cut that out, so it won't be tough and chewy. Now we're gonna slice the meat. You want to slice it against the grain, so you see the line kind of goes this direction, and then we're gonna cut this direction. So this is a sirloin steak I use, cut against the grain as thin as you can. If the weather is too hot, you can send them to the freezer for a few minutes. So they will firm up a little bit, it will be easier to slice. Now we're gonna quickly season the beef with salt, pepper, coconut aminos, onion and garlic powder, and a little bit of arrowroot and the baking soda. Now baking soda is the secret to make the beef actually tender as stir fry. Um, use about less than a half teaspoon for one pound of beef. And it is a wholesale compliant, but if you're not and mix it well and set aside in the fridge. If you don't have baking soda at home or if you don't feel like you want to use baking soda, feel free to skip that and let's move on to prepare our veggies. Now one of the secrets about this stir fry sauce is I'm going to show you how to make a homemade Worcestershire sauce. It's a beef stock with aged balsamic vinegar, coconut aminos, tomato paste, a little bit of a little bit of a cinnamon powder, garlic, onion powder, and also mustard powder. So just mix them well, and this will be your homemade Worcestershire sauce. So simple and it's so much better than the store-bought Worcestershire sauce. You can make them ahead, store in a glass jar in the fridge. And if you want it a little bit thicker, I will thicken them over a stove top and just store them when it's chilled. For a quick over, we slice the bell peppers, shallot, and garlic for our aromatics, season the beef, and also made a quick Worcestershire sauce. For meal prep, I will just prep the Worcestershire sauce and make the beef first. To pan sear my beef, I preheat the skillet really well, and then I add a little avocado oil. You can also use ghee, and then I'm gonna pan fry the first half of it. Just leave it there, don't touch them. Oh, it's hear the sizzling sound and then I flip them and I'm gonna set them aside to pan fry the second batch and more oil if you need it. Now we set the beef aside and saute the aromatics, garlic and shallots. Always season them with salt to bring out more flavor. After that we're going to add our bell peppers. Add bell peppers. Um, today I use green and a red one. If you are AIP, I would stop this with slice of carrots and celery instead. If you are keto, I will use complete green bell pepper instead. Now we're going to add a sauce in. I'm going to start with a quarter cup first. And if not enough or you want more sauce, you can always add a little bit more. Keep the bell pepper crunchy and very quickly add the beef in. I think it's just about perfect. Give a taste test and see if you want to add a little bit more salt and the dinner is ready. It smells so good here. Look at that gorgeous sauce, our homemade Worcestershire sauce. The healthiest and most tasty Chinese pepper steak. Much, much better than any takeout version. So good here. Look at that gorgeous glossy sauce. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No cornstarch whatsoever and no added sweetener. Absolutely delicious. If you're a person who loves a saucy beef stir fry, I highly recommend you give it. So this is my Chinese saucy pepper steak stir fry. If you're watching this on Facebook, give me a thumbs up. Instagram, share with your friends on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. I share with you very soon. Bye.